Knowing yourself is one of the most powerful lessons you will learn this lifetime. During this video, you will learn why knowing yourself is so important and you'll find seven ways to get to know yourself better very quickly. With that said, let's get started. Knowing ourselves is important for so many reasons. It is so important to know ourselves because it helps us to heal our childhood wounds. It helps us to choose the path of least resistance. And knowing ourselves helps us to identify our capabilities, to increase our gifts, set up boundaries, and to know our triggers. Let's go on this journey together to learn ways we can continuously get to know ourselves better. We will be exploring the following seven hats to continuously get to know ourselves very quickly. One, we will learn how to test ourselves. Two, learn from our past. Three, monitor our thoughts. Four, challenge ourselves. Five, keep a journal. Six, analyze our dreams. And one of my most favorites, seven, studying our ancestry. The first topic we'll explore is testing ourselves. We can test ourselves in many ways. This includes physically, mentally, and spiritually. One of the many ways we can test ourselves mentally is by learning new things. We can take classes, perform experiments, learn a new cooking recipe, interact with new people, go to new places, listen to new music, and even look at new YouTube videos. There are so many ways to learn new things. And learning new things helps us to expand our mind and in return, expand our existence. Being creative is another way that we can test ourselves. Coming up with new inventions and new ways of doing things surely helps us to see our full potential and also to help ourselves and others. For example, we can come up with new flavors and new recipes that add our own touch of love and own touch of goodness. We can come up with new and inventive ways to make movies, to make music, to provide performances, to heal people, to deliver creative and positive messages. All these new inventions and new ways of doing things help us to have a better way of life and to definitely know the fullness and goodness of ourselves. Another way to test ourselves is to challenge the body. As the common saying goes, our bodies can do almost anything. It's our minds that we have to convince. When we challenge the body, we help to improve our strength and to reduce the effects of aging. Some people actually do find challenging the body to be enjoyable and while others use it as meditation. Challenging the body can also reduce stress and improve our sleep patterns. Psychological test is one of the most important ways that we can test ourselves, but yet one of the most forgotten. Being able to find peace in chaos means that you have mastered your emotions. And when we master our emotions, we can welcome in infinite amounts of success. Spiritual tests are so important 
because we are not only human beings, we are spiritual beings. To test yourself spiritually, you can pray, meditate, connect with nature, and simply just have faith. When you walk with faith, it shows how powerful you spiritually are. Simply going with the flow is another way to heighten your spiritual awareness. Test your senses, improve your senses. These are all ways that you can spiritually test yourself. When you grow spiritually, you will elevate your senses. You will heighten your awareness and you will connect with your highest self. The second topic we'll be using to help know ourselves is looking at our past and learning from it. As we take a look at our past, we need to look at our accomplishments. Our accomplishments show us how strong we are and how much we are capable of achieving. We also need to look at our triggers. Our triggers show us where we need to control our emotions and that will help us to control ourselves and to control the outcomes of our situations. When we analyze our fears, it shows us where we need to be stronger and where we need to stand in faith. As the saying goes, life is like a play and you are the author and the director, which simply means to create the life that you want to live. Every day, test yourself and help to get to know yourself by creating the life that you want to live. As we look back at our past to get to know ourselves better, always remember there are no failures. There are only lessons to help us reach our highest heights as we continue on our journey. The next topic we'll be exploring to help us to know ourselves better is monitoring of our thoughts. When we are learning how to monitor our thoughts, there are a few questions that we want to ask ourselves. One, what are my dominant thoughts? For example, am I always focusing on my blessings? Or am I focusing on things that may not have went the way I thought they should go? Question two, where are all of these thoughts coming from? Are there something that's been ingrained in my brain through society or through my parents? And question three, are these thoughts valid? Or are they based on assumptions or negative influences? Finding out the truth and the validity of your thoughts can help you to change your perspective to a more positive perspective to help to bring more peace into your life. As we get to know our thoughts and why we think the way we do, we have the power to change our thoughts. And to change our thoughts means that we can invoke continuous success and improvements in our lives. Changing our thoughts helps us to increase the happiness and satisfaction in our lives. It helps us to heal ourselves and to take control of our lives. As we manage our thoughts, we achieve our goals and gain success with the least amount of resistance. It is so imperative to learn about the patterns behind our behaviors and our emotions, as well as our thoughts. 
Learning the patterns will allow us to change and manage our lives. When we know how our minds work, we can be intentional about our creations. The next topic we'll be exploring to get to know ourselves better is challenging ourselves. There are so many ways that we can challenge ourselves and learn how far we can actually go. And this helps us to know ourselves and know the heights that we can reach. Some of the things that I use to challenge myself are setting new goals, studying new topics, trying new things, going out and meeting new people, going to different places, and always striving to surpass any limitation. Continuously challenging ourselves will surely help us to skyrocket our accomplishments. Challenging ourselves, which in return helps us to get to know ourselves, ensures that we can create our dream life. What formerly seemed impossible becomes within your reach. During this next section, we will learn why keeping a journal is so important to knowing ourselves. Journals and diaries come in many forms. This includes tracking your thoughts, writing down your goals and dreams, and talking and writing about your good times. You can journal by creating a vision board, creating music and or poetry through drawing, painting, and sculpting, and definitely an awesome journal that I always keep is writing down things that I'm so blessed and grateful for. Keeping a journal or a diary can help us to relieve stress. We can go back and laugh at our most joyous moments and even laugh at some of our lessons that we've learned throughout life. Keeping a journal or a diary helps us to explore our thoughts and in return helps us with self-awareness. Keeping a journal or a diary will also help to reduce the amount of resistance in our lives, which will in return help us to more easily accomplish our goals. The next topic we will explore together to help us understand ourselves better is analyzing our dreams. Dreams are so important to our lives. Dreams are a compilation of images, ideas, emotions, and sensations that usually occur involuntarily in the mind during sleep, meditation, and even in our awakened states. Our dreams help to create our fantasies. They help to create our inspirations, and they certainly help to drive our ambitions. Our dreams impact our emotional and our mental health. That's why it's so important to make sure you are analyzing and studying your dreams. Our dreams help us to find our purpose and they can help us to solve problems too. Our dreams also strongly influence us psychologically. So knowing your dreams helps you to know yourself. As we continue to pursue our dreams, we must understand that what we perceive as failures 
are only lessons that are leading us from where we are to where we want to go. Our final topic of the day is studying our ancestry. As we study our ancestors, it helps us to know ourselves better because it helps us to learn from our historical mistakes. It helps us to learn our health patterns and helps us to increase our healthiness today. It helps us to learn about our legacies and in return, know what we can accomplish because of our ancestors. Our ancestors help us to connect the dots and understand how our ancestors are currently influencing us today. Knowing yourself is one of the major keys to life. Hopefully this lesson helps you to find ways to get to know yourself better. Once we know ourselves, we can grow in the ways that we love ourselves. And most importantly, we can be ourselves. Always accept yourself. You are your only competition. Only compare yourselves to you. We are so wonderfully made and you are so truly awesome. Always remember that you are braver than you believe. You are so much stronger than you see. You are so much smarter than you think. And you are twice as beautiful as you have ever imagined. You are truly so sincerely awesome.